Assalamualaikum everyone, we are going to continue our discussion on measuring domestic output and national income. In the previous lessons, we have learned about GDP as well as the other national income accounts. In this video, we will look at the difference between nominal GDP and real GDP and why the latter is preferred as a measure of economic growth. Recall that GDP is a measure of the market value of all final goods and services produced by the economy in a given year. It is calculated by multiplying total output by market prices. But how can we compare the market values of GDP from year to year if the value of money itself is changing, perhaps due to inflation or deflation? The way to go about this problem is to deflate the nominal GDP when prices rise and to inflate the nominal GDP when prices fall. This is done by choosing a reference year, often called the base year, and then using the output prices in that reference year to value the quantities of output produced in other years. Nominal GDP is GDP that is valued at current prices. What that means is, the GDP is calculated based on prices that prevailed when output was produced. It is also called an adjusted GDP. Real GDP, on the other hand, is GDP valued at constant base year prices. That is, the GDP has been deflated or inflated to reflect changes in the price levels. Because of that, real GDP is also known as adjusted GDP. There are two ways to obtain real GDP from nominal GDP. One is to simply divide the nominal GDP by the price index or GDP deflator, like so. And the other way is to break down nominal GDP into physical quantities of output and prices, and then to multiply each year's output with base year prices. Let's take a look at an example in a one product economy. Using the first method of finding real GDP, what we need to do first is to find price index, or column 3. This is done by dividing the price of the output in a specific year with the price of the output in the base year and multiply by 100. For instance, to find the price index for year 2, we simply divide 20 ringgit with 10 ringgit and multiply by 100. We will then get a price index of 200. You may try to do the calculations for the price index for years 3, 4, and 5. Next, to find the real GDP for a particular year, we take the nominal GDP of that year and divide it by the price index that we calculated earlier for that year and multiply by 100. For instance, to find the real GDP for year 3, we simply divide 200 ringgit by 250 and multiply by 100. This will give us a real GDP of 80 ringgit. Now, if you want to use the second method, we simply multiply each year's current output with the base year price. For instance, to find real GDP for year 4, we take the unit produced in year 4, that is 10, and multiply it with the base year price of 10 ringgit. This will give us a real GDP of 100 ringgit, which is exactly the same amount that we would have gotten by using the first method. As you can see from this video, real GDP is preferred for mainly two reasons. One, real GDP provides a more realistic assessment of growth than nominal GDP because without real GDP, it could seem like a country is producing more when in fact it's only that prices have gone up. Thus, real GDP allows economists and policymakers to measure growth of production more accurately. And two, real GDP is also more suitable for us to make comparisons from year to year because it takes into account inflation or changes in price. 